Hello guys, welcome to Cyber Cafe. In today's video, I'll show you how to install BWAB on your virtual box. First, what is BWAB? BWAB is a buggy web application. BWAB will help you if you are practicing ethical hacking, if you are a penetration tester and you want to practice, you want to learn about the vulnerabilities, BWAB will be your best source to learn when it comes to practicing on vulnerabilities because as you know, this field is all about practicing and hands-on experience. Uh, so BWAB will give you the ability to practice this vulnerability in your own virtual box. As you know guys, you cannot go and practice any vulnerabilities against the websites that you are not authorized to do a penetration testing on. So BWAP will give you the ability to practice in your own lab. Uh, and today I will show you how to install BWAP uh, so you can practice on these vulnerabilities. So if you are a beginner or intermediate or advanced and you are planning to go into bug bounty, as you know, it's really difficult and challenging when you go to the bug bounty platforms and you try with the professionals and you just started, that will make you so disappointed because everyone is trying hard and most of these websites are well secured. So you will be trying hard and you will be so disappointed because it's it not going to be easy for you in the beginning. So this box will really help you so much to practice your skills. And whenever you feel comfortable and you feel that you got into a good level, you can go join the bug bounty platforms and you can start practicing and you start exploring, looking for some vulnerabilities. First thing you need to do, you need to go to your browser and I have it ready in here. Uh, we're gonna go to vulnhub.com and you will find the BWAP and you can download it from here So I will leave the link in the description for you guys You can just go to the link and start downloading your BWAP There are three links in here the one that we need to download is the one in the middle where it says mirror after you download the link We're gonna go to the next step. So I already downloaded the file and it's ready to go now Let's go and start setting up the virtual box so we will minimize this. We're going to go to the virtual box and we're going to create a new box. So we're going to click on new. Okay. And here we can name it whatever we want. So I'm going to name it B box. And with the type, we're going to choose Linux. And for the version, we're going to choose Ubuntu 64. After we choose that, we're going to click on next. And in here, you can put whatever memory size you want. It's up to you. Then we're gonna go with next. So we are going to choose use an existing virtual hard disk file. And after that, we're gonna look for the file that we downloaded. Uh, it's not gonna be here, so I'm gonna click on add. I'm gonna go to documents. And I'm gonna go to B box. And it's gonna be the first one in here. We're gonna click on this one. So now it's added, as you see in here. So we're gonna click on B box. Then we are going with choose then create and now we have the B box in here so before I start B box there is something really important I wanted to show you so you're gonna go to settings then you're gonna go to network as you see a network what I'm trying to do I want to connect to this uh, vulnerable box through my Kali Linux so I can practice and explore the vulnerabilities in the box so what I need to do I need to link it to my Kali Linux and my other boxes that I have in there so what I need to do is I'm gonna click in here then I'm gonna go with NAT network and as you see in here I have two I already created this myself so I'm gonna go with sandbox one because I have all my other boxes in the same network and I'm gonna click OK then I'm going to start B box if you want guys please let me know in the comment I can show you how to download uh, meet exploit Kali Linux and link them all together so you can create your own penetration testing lab the way that I did it so if you want that just let me know in the comment and I'll be more than happy to show you how to do that okay so now we are waiting for BWAP to boot here is our B box it's ready to use okay so when we start our BWAP the first thing we need to do we're gonna go to the terminal okay so now let's do if config so we can see our IP address all right so as you see in here this is my IP address and now I can go to my Kali Linux and access this IP address. So I would go to Kali Linux, then we're gonna go to the browser. All right. Then we're gonna do the IP address. I believe it was 10.0.2.8. Okay, so let's click on BWAP. 
you will have a login in here where can you find the login it's easy you will find it in here it says b and bug that's going to be the username and that's going to be the password also if you go back to the file that you downloaded you will see install and it will give you some useful information uh, for example for the mysql credentials as you see in here it says the username is going to be root and the password is going to be bug uh, and the other credentials is going to be b bug root bug okay so this is our beautiful bwap what can we do with bwap as i told you before you have over 100 vulnerabilities that you can practice on you can practice with you knowing that you are not doing anything illegal you will be sharpening your skills it's your own lab you do whatever you want to do worst case scenario whatever happens you can just uninstall it and install it again or you can even take a snapshot as soon as you install it or you can clone it so you have it ready whenever you messed up so it's gonna be easy it's gonna be great experiment just explore as much vulnerabilities as you can and I promise you from here you're gonna be one of the best people doing the bug bounty let me show you how it works that's gonna be the login here the new user if you wanted to create a new user that's an info about uh, about the box as I told you before you see in here it says it has over a hundred web vulnerabilities covers all major non web bugs and they have some training in here if you want to they have the blog if you want to go to the blog okay so now let's log in so we can see the vulnerabilities that we we're gonna practice on this is the security level let's keep it at low for now and we're gonna go with the username now we logged in as you see in here this is all the vulnerabilities that you can practice and you can find it in here too so HTML injection reflected get uh, reflected posts HTML injection stored, LDAP injection, SQL injection. You have a lot of great vulnerabilities in here that you can practice on. Not only that, whenever you practice one vulnerability, let's say you practice the HTML injection and you made it and you exploit this vulnerability, to make it more difficult, you can just change it from low to medium, then try to exploit it again. And after that, if you exploit it successfully, go again and change it to high and also try to exploit it again and from here you can change your password from here you're gonna create your user and here you're gonna set the security level uh, then you can reset the box from here this video is only about installing but I will show you a quick exploit to one of the vulnerabilities just to give you an idea of how this works so first thing to do we are going to choose the vulnerability then we will try to exploit this vulnerability so let's go with the cross-site scripting and we have the reflected and after that we're gonna click hack it gave us a first name and last name so this is where you will be exploiting the vulnerability so we will try to run our code right now and see if we can exploit it so what do you do we're gonna go with script okay alert all right let me say cyber cafe all right, we're gonna close it. Okay, I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna put it in the last name as well. Then we're gonna click go. So now after we exploited this vulnerability, uh, you can practice the same vulnerability again, but you can change the security level. So let's try it right now and go to set security level. We're gonna change it from low to high. We're gonna choose set. And you see it changed to high now so let's go and practice on the same vulnerability that we did and we're gonna use the same code that we did before so we are going to choose cross-site scripting reflected get then we're gonna click on hack and now let's try the same code that we did before and we were able to exploit this vulnerability and let's see if that's going to work this is the same code that we used before we're gonna click on go as you see in here it gave us the code but it didn't show us the window so the code wasn't activated so now you have to try to exploit it in a different way because this way is not working anymore the reason why because we changed the security level honestly it's a great web application that you can use to practice uh, it's going to give you a great experience and you are not doing anything illegal you are practicing in your own private lab in the end of this video bwap is a great way for you to start practicing 
exploiting vulnerabilities. And the beauty about BWAP is that even if you messed up or did anything wrong, you won't damage your computer. The only thing will happen is that you need to install it again. So I honestly encourage you guys to install BWAP. If you have any questions for me, please leave it in the comments. Uh, if you have any specific videos that you want me to create, just let me know in the comment. I'll be more than happy to do so. That's it for today and you have a wonderful day guys.